Greetings. Welcome to the Void Games. I will be your host for the evening. Tonight we have a fresh batch of participants. They will do their best to survive dangerous situations for your entertainment. We have collected guests far and wide from different worlds. They will compete with the clothes on their back that they were found with, therefore this means that those without the proper fighting equipment will be at a disadvantage in combat. Fairness does not interest us, violence does. The way weapons will be selected for our matches will be through the roll of a dice. The number selected has a weapon assigned. Most of this evening's weapons are courtesy of vanilla weapons expanded. The dice is courtesy of teal 3D dice roller. Without further ado, let's see our first set. Number 13. That makes our first weapon the marksman rifle. It is a semi-automatic rifle designed for medium to long ranges. Let's see how our first set of contestants battle it out. We have teenager Mr. Kitty, sporting a heavy close combat armor. And we have another teenager, Mr. Brixy, sporting an Eno suit armor. I believe this will be an interesting match due to them being similar in age and equipment. Ladies and creatures, they are off. On one corner is Kitty of the Axio faction. Correction, Flame Legion faction. And on the other is Brixie of the Glitter Tech Commando faction. Interesting strategy. It seems Kitty cannot actually fire the marksman rifle due to his shield belt, so now he is menacingly walking towards his rival. I'd say it's rather effective. It seems our gladiators find themselves in quite the conundrum. They are both struggling to hit each other at point blank range due to them grappling each other. It's not looking good for Brixie Folk, but the battle is still on. and Kitty is the victor for our first round. Fortunately for Brixie, he lives to see another hour. It's time to reset the playing field for the next set of contestants. Let's roll the dice to see what our new weapon is. Ladies and lizards, the service rifle. The service rifle was a standard issue rifle for foot soldiers back in the ancient days, before mechanical creatures roamed the outer rim world. Let's see how our contestants handle this relic. We have Miss Penguin of the Axio faction. She was a corporate manager once, until she was found trying to raid us. Now she's just a prisoner striving to entertain you folks locked down at home. On the other corner, we have Miss Rufus. Miss Rufus is a porter slash mule from some barren wasteland of the world. She was found with a caravan entering void territory without the proper trading permits. Naughty. Let's get started then. Round two. Uh-oh. Miss Rufus is at an extreme disadvantage. It's not her fault she was placed in the faraway corner, however a sense of urgency never hurt anybody. Miss Penguin has the upper hand. And just like that, it is over as soon as it started. Miss Rufus never managed to recover from a bad start, but at least she went down 5 hits. At least she lives to see another day. Victory goes to Miss Penguin, who we had to break up from caving her opponent sculling, because she's already won. Let's have another roll, shall we? 
Are you feeling lucky, punk? The hand cannon. The weapon made famous by your typical cowboy, roaming the outer ring with no name, a cigar in mouth and a poncho ready. It packs quite a punch. One of our next fighters is none other than Miss Moore. Miss Moore is from the Kijun race. She is an assassin. Perhaps she wears a mask for a personal reason, unlike yours truly. <laughs> and pictured against her is Miss Chalice. Miss Chalice is from the Jeju faction. She used to be a teacher until she learned an important lesson on being captured by Void. Now she is going to have to win if she wants a chance of seeing her family once more. To that, I say off to round three. Just as a precaution, we added more drop points for the weapons. We thought it would prevent more unfair situations for our contestants. They're off. Chalice decides to go for the higher quality hand cannon and such as a bullet wound from Miss Moore. She's at a huge disadvantage now, again due to being further away from her weapon of choice. Can't say it's out fault this time however. This is anyone's game now. Ladies and gents, both contestants are quite evenly matched. Despite the rough start, Chalice seems to be doing well against Moore. However, Moore is at an advantage due to her higher resistance against damage. Part of the Kijun race package. We have a winner. It seems Chalice lost this standoff, but she lives to fight another day. As for Miss Moore, she's off for treatment. Job well done. Poor elite members, they have to go and clean up all this mess every time. All for your entertainment. One last match until the finals begin. I'm excited to see this next one. Let's roll the dice. Aha. The classic charge lance. The charge lance is the weapon of choice of, you guessed it, the lancer. It is a weapon known to make limbs fly off, unless, of course, you have the appropriate protection from this weapon. It's time for round four. Maybe we will see people lose lungs over this one. For round four we have Yupnaz, a Spetsnaz operator from Allegiance. He kept asking us for a bigger room, and we kept reminding him that he's not in a holiday inn. And on the other corner, Miss Tomoko. Tomoko is from the USCM, she is a colonial marine who thought colonizing a planet with Void around was a good idea. Spoiler alert, no it wasn't. Let's begin. And be are off ladies and gents. Ouch, that has got a hurt. Miss Tomoko has the advantage. You'd never yet to pick up the weapon. And tap the match. Fastest one we've had yet. Unfortunately for Miss Tomoko, she's dead. That would make it our first death of this evening. Mr. Tomoko's death brings me no pleasure, however, that is just the way the cookie crumbles. She died with honor, a brave soul indeed. Unfortunately folks, that is all we have time for this evening. Tune in next time for the finals. Although I wouldn't hold my breath if the ratings for tonight's episode aren't good, we may have to just sack the whole thing off. See you next time for the Void Games. Good night.